Winston Edmondson here. I'm checking in. I want to find out what's happening here at EMC World, find out where all the excitement is. And first place I stopped, VCE is jam-packed with people. There's something going on. Let's chat with Jeremiah and see what it is. Jeremiah, what, what, what have you seen so far? Wow, it's been fun. So uh, I think the big, the big thing is that we're getting all sorts of new questions, right? I mean, it used to be, what are the pieces you're putting in? What are you doing with, uh, you know, what Cisco products, what EMC products? What we're really finding out is how do I use it? Right? How does this help my business? How can I transform from silos into horizontal processes? How can I make my infrastructure boring and end up using that to help drive better outcomes for my applications, better outcomes for my application users? And it's such a huge change from where we were three years ago, right? I mean, I think it's such a huge change from where the industry was three years ago. Uh, it's, yeah, I mean, as you can see, the, the stars of the show are still the V-blocks, right? I mean, you know, the still doors open, people digging around in them, uh, but the conversations are at a completely different level, which I think is gratifying for us as a company. It but also shows how that, that transition's happening in the industry as, as a whole. Are you finding that people are more educated and so they're convinced and now they're coming to you just to look for what solutions that you can help them with? Yeah, a little of both. I think part of it is that they're better educated. Um, part of it is that they don't want to have to worry about it as much. Right? I mean, one of the, it's fun, I've got a slide deck where I stand in front of it and say, I work for an infrastructure company, but the infrastructure is boring and the more time you're spending on it, the less time and attention you're giving to the end users and to the applications that are actually running your business. And so we see a little bit of both. Customers understand the larger picture, but also they understand that living in the silos and living in the individual elements isn't good for their business. It's not good for their careers. It's not good for what it is that they're trying to do as, as companies, right? It's not core to their business. And so they're really looking at companies like VCE to say, take those things off the table for me. Let me get back to what I'm here for, which is to take care of my end users and take care of my applications. Gotcha. I need you to break this down for me because I, I passed some booths that kind of seem like a ghost town, not much going on. Here, I can barely, it's standing room only. Yeah. What are you guys doing to, to draw people I mean, really, there's, a, there's an energy here. Yep. I really, I think it's a message, right? I mean, I think it is that we're not, we're not pushing gear, right? We're, we're pushing a business solution. We're pushing a way for companies, IT organizations, to transform how they relate to the business that they serve, right? And I think that as we, as we continue to go through this, that becomes more and more the theme, more so than what's the queue depth on your storage array and how many, inter, you know, how many uplink interfaces are you using to this fabric interconnect? Those things are important. They have to be done perfectly. They have to be done in a repeatable fashion. But that's not what the business cares about. right? That's not where the end users want to be. And so I think that a lot of the traffic that you're seeing is around how do we leverage it? How do we better integrate what IT has to offer to the business with the value that the business needs from it? And that's pretty exciting to me. Let's talk about the future. What can we expect? Are there any uh, exciting things on the horizon that we can look forward to? Well, uh, I mean, in the short term, part of our job at VCE is to integrate all the complicated stuff from our investor companies, right? So as we see announcements from Pivotal, as we see announcements from EMC and VMware and Cisco, you'll start to see those technologies come to market in an integrated, you know, pre-tested way. I think that from our side, we're really excited about the, the VC Vision intelligent operations software and being able to use our own intellectual property to help customers better manage and better visualize to the tooling that they're using. The fact that it's not a, a set of individual pieces, that it's an actual converged infrastructure that's designed to, to operate in a specific way. So you'll see lots more announcements from VCE about that. But every time you see an announcement from one of the investor companies, you know, understand that 30 days behind that, we're not going to just show you what the new technology is. We're going to show you how to integrate it in a way that works in an enterprise. Fantastic. Let's talk to the people at home that unfortunately weren't able to enjoy this, this party of a conference. Uh, what is the best way, if they want to get plugged into to what you're doing, for them to contact you guys? Sure. So VC.com has all of the information, right? Every demo that we're doing here, every piece of documentation, every presentation that we're giving, everything's on VC.com. Um, you know, personally, I'm always available. Uh, I'm on Twitter probably more than I should be. Uh, anybody wants to get a hold of me at jdooley underscore CLT, I'm happy to answer questions, happy to help out with anything anybody needs. And that's our check-in with VCE. Uh, stay with us. We're going to be checking in all over the place. Stay tuned.